Hey guys, take a minute the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your touch bar on your MacBook if it's not working or responding or it just simply doesn't work for you. So there's a couple things you can do to hopefully fix your touch bar not working on your MacBook. So let's get started. First thing is if you're having issues, let's say it's completely blank, dark, or doesn't show anything, is just do a simple restart of your MacBook. And to do that, all you do is simply go to the Apple logo on your uh, left hand side here and all you're going to do is a re quick restart and hopefully by then you log back in it works sometimes it's just over time if you have your macbook on for a very long time it just happens to be a software glitch sometimes and it could be resolved like with most software issues with a restart now if that's not working the next thing you can do is actually go ahead and open up a Activity monitor on your MacBook. So there's something called Activity Monitor that kind of monitors all the processes running on your computer. And the process that you're going to want to search for, there's two different processes that you're going to look for. First one is going to be called Touch Bar. So we're going to click Touch. So the first one is going to be Touch Bar Server. And you're going to look for this process. Now, so if it doesn't show up, that's fine. The next one you're going to do, look for is control strip. So you can use this arrow to move it. You'll see here control strip. You're going to click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to click on that stop or stop here with the cross here. You're going to click on that and you're going to do a quick force quit just like that. And once you do force quit it, you're going to go ahead and turn off activity monitor. The other one you will need to search if you can't find it, sometimes you'll see is touch bar server. So just exactly all in one word. If it shows up, do the same exact thing. So once you have done that, you're gonna close out of this and just do another restart of your MacBook. What it will do is restart those processes and hopefully fix your MacBook. Now after you've done a restart and it's still not working, the next thing you can do is go ahead to your search menu up top here for the search spotlight icon, click on that, and this time what you're going to want to search up is terminal. So you're going to search up the word terminal. What it will do is open, give you the ability to open up this screen that looks like like a black screen, depending on your computer, it's going to be light screen. Basically, this interface where you can interact with your computer uh, shell. So all you'll do here, type in the word sudo, S-U-D-O, space, and then you're going to type in pkill, P-K-I-L-L, -L, space, and then you're going to type in the word touch bar server. Now, T is going to be capital, touch, and then this is going to be all in one word. B is going to be capital, bar, and then server, S E. R V E R server all weren't touched. So again, sudo kill touch bar server, and you're gonna want to do is enter, and it's gonna ask you for your uh, MacBook password for your administrator, which is generally the password you probably log in with. So I'm just gonna type that in, hit enter, and it'll get to your Mac next screen here same exact thing here if you enter your password wrong it's going to ask you to enter re-enter your password after you have done that you're going to close this out and then go back again do another restart and hopefully by now your macbook is working now if it's still having issues the next thing you want to do is again open up the menu from your apple here you can go to system preferences and then once you go to system preferences what you'll do is look for the keyboard settings here and then the keyboard setting verify for the touch bar option that it has app control as the option let's say if it's on some other control here like expanded you want to switch back to app controls and then you also want to make sure this is marked off show control strip marked as well so sometimes over time with software updates or any accidental click you might have disabled this so you're going to make sure verify that's on now after you have done that go back again now and it's still not working for you the next thing you want to do is go ahead and update your macbook and to update your macbook you can do it it's pretty much simple you're going to look for update let's close this out let's say you can go here to the apple again and this time what you'll do is click on about this macbook and then you'll want to click on software update and it will check for software update just like that as you can see here it will check make sure connect it to your wi-fi and then once you're connected it will show up if there's an update available you're going to want to click on upgrade now but before you do this upgrade remember that when you do upgrade let's say if you're going from 
major version it's going to take some time to do and you want to make sure before even doing an update is back up your macbook really just to make sure that if you run into an issue it can be you know there isn't a backup in case you need to back up and if you lose data it, uh, hopefully you don't lose any data just to back up always so back up and then do the software update and hopefully by now hopefully it resolves your issue and if none of these tip that we showed you guys work most likely it could be actual fault with the keyboard itself in that case you have to take it to apple or to authorize apple service provider to take a look so hopefully this video was helpful and you guys found fixed your issue if so please make sure that like and subscribe button also if you found another way to fix the touch bar to get it working leave it in the comment section as well to share it with everyone thanks for watching guys see you guys next time